<laughs> I didn't aim to drop it in the road. Hey there folks, this is Josh Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome back to another Tool Tuesdays here on the Stony Ridge Farm and we have got a fun treat for you today. So today we're out here in the beautiful North Carolina weather. It's about 65 degrees, great chainsaw and weather. And we're going to be doing two chainsaw comparisons here. So we're going to be comparing a saw that I've had for a bit and I'm very, very impressed with. This is the Steel MS-140C. It's a 36 volt chainsaw. We'll talk a little bit more about the specs and everything of that saw in just a minute. And we've got the Works, and this is the Works model WG384. It is a brushless, cordless chainsaw from Works, and this is a 40 volt chainsaw. So come along today as we take these two saws and we run them head to head and we talk about what they feel like, how they feel in your hand, how the batteries last, how they cut, what you get for your money. All right? Woo! I ain't afraid of work. I ain't afraid of play. I ain't afraid to get the job done and do it my own damn way. I ain't afraid of life times like this. If you mess with my freedom, I'll tell you just what you can keep. Okay, so let's first talk about the Works chainsaw. So this is, again, a brushless saw. This saw's never been used. It's brand spanking new. I have used the steel saw and we're going to put a brand new chain on it and this is a brand new bar brand new chain it comes with the sleeve or the scabbard i guess is what you call it uh, by the way this is the log ox this is an awesome tool uh log ox multi-tool so what we have here whoop, timber <laughs> all right what we've got here is it works it's a brushless motor it says it right on there and the batteries are quite different on these two but let me show you so you've got your chain break right here you have a push button for safety right here and a trigger so once i push the button I can pull the trigger. That's one of the scary things about running an electric chainsaw. If you've never ran an electric chainsaw, the difference between a gas powered chainsaw is you can hear the danger. With an electric chainsaw, this thing is dangerous all the time. You can hear the danger when a, when a uh, gas powered chainsaw is running, but not with an electric chainsaw. So you've got to think about that. And we will be wearing safety gear because you've got to think about that also. When you're a kid and you cut your hand, did you cut your hand with a little pocket knife or did you cut your hand with a sword? All right, so we need to wear protective equipment no matter what size the chainsaw. So the batteries for this 40 volt work saw are this big, okay? And they have a little battery indicator right there. So you just take two batteries. This is the first time I've done this, by the way. Drop these two batteries. It comes with two batteries and a charger, just like that. Drop those two batteries in and boom it's lit up and you can test it later on boom you hit that button and test it both saws are very similar in that capacity so you can adjust this saw just by flipping up this little tab very similar to the steel and tighten that just like so very simple very easy uh, your bar oil goes in here this saw is how do i say this it's a little bit more bulky i guess a uh, more cumbersome saw. It feels more like uh, a, an MS-170. It feels big, okay? And it's a little bigger. This is a 14-inch bar. And this is a 12-inch bar. So, man, you can really see the difference in the two saws right there. Man, can't you tell? This thing is much, much bigger, and it's much, much heavier. It's probably a pound and a half heavier, the works is, with the battery in it. We'll check it with the battery in this. So let's talk about the steel. This, again, is the steel, and this is the MSA-140C. There'll be a link to this critter. You can't buy this on Amazon, but there'll be an Amazon link to this critter right here if you want it. And there'll be a link to the log ox that just fell down on the floor. Um, so what we have here is a very, very similar setup, okay? You've got your chain brake here. Very simple, very easy, feels good. Uh, not quite as bulky as the works. Now, do you want your chain brake to be bulky? Kinda, you kinda do, but you've got a nice curved ergonomic uh, chain brake right here. And the works is a great big old, just a monster. <laughs> it really is, it's a, it's a big electric chainsaw. You can see it's already dirty here. Here's where you put your bar oil in. You don't have to put any fuel in these critters. 
Now, same thing, same system, trigger system. You have a push button right here, and then you can pull the trigger, okay? Very simple. We're gonna slide the battery, and the battery is way different. It's way, way different. So there are three levels of battery that you can get with the steel model, and this is the top tier battery. This is called we go, the 36 volt, <laughs> AK30, AK30. So, and just like the other batteries, you have an indicator right here to tell you how full both these batteries, all these batteries have been fully charged. So we're gonna get it rocking. And I've already messed up. I've already stuffed the steel battery in the wrong way, I think. Works reached out to me and sent me that saw, not to do a comparison, but to show it on the channel. And I wanna compare the two. So the first time I fire it up, I want it to be head to head with this critter right here. So this battery, pushes in and locks and you have to push it down one more time okay lock it all the way into place and again the battering indicator still works okay we'll pull the trigger on this okay sounds like a little electric chainsaw let's pull the trigger on the works and see what it sounds like and again our battery is totally full here pull our chain brake Not as responsive, okay? Not as peppy. Listen again. Kind of slowly picks up, and the steel immediately jumps off. I mean, it's it's just a great, a great saw. So, and I love it. I love the steel saw for sure. So we're gonna put these guys to work. First of all, also the adjustment on the steel. You have a little flip tab right here. Same thing. You loosen this guy up. You can remove this cover, this guard or you can tighten up your chain. I didn't see any kind of external. Okay, so the chain tensioner portion is right here, okay? So we pop this up. Oh, okay, so it works. It serves as a dual purpose. If you turn this, it looks like, and I don't know. Again, I'm learning them. <laughs> I'll figure it out and I'll tell you. So the first thing we're going to do is swap out. So you guys know I ain't cheating. We're going to swap out with a brand new steel. And these are the little bitty chains, uh, uh, chains right here. We're going to swap that out real quick. Old and dirty, new and shiny. So what we're going to do is we're going to be cutting on a piece of poplar and the poplar is going to be about this big around each one of these saws is basically a homeowner grade type saw the steel saw costs 329 dollars that's the cheapest that i could possibly find it was 329 when i bought this i bought an extra chain with it and an extra battery i left out of my steel dealer spending about 450 dollars okay where the works chainsaw is at the price point of 199 with batteries and charger however <laughs> i've got to figure out how to tighten the chain it's a little different than a standard uh chainsaw here so well you just turn it <laughs> you just turn this and it tightens the chainsaw chain up there we go okay so again listen okay now listen full throttle here immediate response so right now my opinion is this is more responsive than the works chainsaw the works chainsaw versus the steel chainsaw weight wise we're just about apples to apples with the battery the steel may be just a tiny bit heavier 36 volts 40 volts let's cut something before we cut something we got to put bar oil in here so we'll just loosen this guy up both of them are just about the same. The steel is a little more robust here. Oh, and it's already slapped full of bar oil from last time I used it. Typically, I don't keep them full like that. This guy's a little bit, I don't know how to say it, plasticky, I guess. But again, these are both consumer grade saws. These are not pro saws, guys. This is a, a backyard gardener out in, out in his backyard cutting small branches and stuff like this. You're not gonna be doing you know, a full pickup truck load a firewood with this critter all right I always spill bar oil this is my fancy gas can my favorite gas can for chainsawing ever I'll post a link down there you've got tool capacity right here you've got 
a spot for your tools right here. This is the gas and this is the bar oil. Very cool. And you never have to worry about losing the cap because this thing just slides back. Just like that. Very cool. Got our safety gear on now. Don't need earmuffs. Don't need them. Very quiet. So we'll pull our face shield down and we're going to drop this poplar. This is a fairly, well, it's about as big as your arm. I don't know exactly what size it is, but we're just going to drop this poplar. We're going to cut it half with the work saw and half with the steel saw. Very nice, very impressed so far. Uh, it doesn't bog down or anything like that. Now I gotta worry about the power lines close by here. Going perfect. <laughs> I didn't aim to drop it in the road though. I got to clean the road off real quick. Stand by. All right guys, here we are at our tree. <laughs> we cleared the mess out of the road. So this is probably, yeah, it's about that big around. <laughs> I'm going to say it's probably five inches through. What we're going to do here is we're going to work a little bit with the steel saw and we're going to work our way down the tree and we're going to limb a little bit and then we're going to work a little bit with the work saw. Let you guys kind of see it, kind of see them cutting, see how fast they cut and uh, I'll give you some feedback. Now it's up to you to decide what saw you want if you're looking for an electric chainsaw. I was not sold on electric chainsaws until I picked up this steel MSA 140C. It's a great saw, it really is a great saw. And I'm really glad that I have this one here to test in comparison because I really had no basis for comparison other than a gas saw. And I'll tell you, an electric chainsaw does not have as much torque or what I would say digging power with the chain. It doesn't have, let's lock that back, it doesn't have as much digging power. In other words, it, it's not drawing in that log as fast. Now, we're going to cut an even amount of cuts. So we'll cut three cuts off of here and then we'll use the steel saw and cut three cuts. And we'll just do this until we get down to the end of the log to where it's big or we kill a battery. All right, let's look at the size here. Here's the works. Here's the steel. Works is much, much bigger. I mean, you see it just basically covers up the steel. So we're gonna start with the little guy. Like I said earlier, we're gonna get busy on this. And I'm gonna cut some log rounds that we'll use. We'll probably just burn this in a campfire, okay? All right, we'll do three. Get that limb. Do one more. All right, very good. Very happy, torquey, speedy, definitely ergonomic grip, feels good, doesn't feel cheap. It feels like a nice consumer grade chainsaw, homeowner grade saw. Now, here we go with the works. Again, the works is 40 volt and that is 36 volt. And the log obviously is getting bigger as we work our way down. 14 inch bar versus a 12 inch bar. Pull together. Okay, we'll do three. We're just gonna cut this end off. I will say I like both saws. Both saws are pretty good. The steel, you can hear that. It's much less responsive. There's just a total different sound with the steel. I think if we're gonna do a head-to-head -head battle, we need to lay a log right up here on the tailgate and get busy with that log. And we'll just lop off ends. We'll just make little pucks and we'll just put them head to head and let you decide. You can see the shavings that are flying off of the works are a little bit bigger, but the works is a little bit less responsive. I wonder about battery life. <laughs> so we've got two logs up here. One is smaller than the other one. One is about four and a half inches through, and this one is eight and a half inches through. So big daddy and little guy here. I will tell you that the steel saw 
feels a bit smoother when limbing up because it's a little bit more responsive. But we're going to put the hammer down on this and we're going to cut once with the steel, once with the works. Once with the steel, once with the works. And we're going to keep on cutting all the way down here and cut little pucks off and let you guys decide which one you think is more awesome. Again, the steel saw is about 129, 150 bucks more than the works saw. So is it apples to apples? It's two electric chainsaws in the two to 300, $400 price range. So the steel is almost twice the cost of the works. Let's get busy. Again, 14 inch bar, $199 price point. inch bar $329 to $349 price point about the same amount of time the works is throwing bigger chips but the works doesn't seem quite as powerful on this next test i'm going to press really really hard on this larger log okay we're actually going to prop it up here with the other log and i'm going to really go to it okay you're going to see the difference in an electric chainsaw versus a gas chainsaw right now because one and or both of these is going to bog down here we go. So I'm pressing very, very hard. I'm probably putting, I don't know, 50 pounds or so of pressure down here on this. And we're gonna start it while it's in the log. Still doing good, but you see how it kind of bogs. Right? Now with the works. Here we go. That's as hard as I can mash and the works never ever stop. Let's do that one more time just so you guys can see the torque of the steel versus the works. I'm going to push as hard as I can. Stopped works in a different spot now man that thing just digs through that log man I, i'm surprised i'm totally surprised i really am to be honest with you i love the feel of the steel let's let's do another cut but Man, our battery, is our battery getting weak? No, we're not down. It's getting clogged, it's getting bogged. I don't know what's up. All right, works, let's go works, and this is a different spot. We'll get it up to speed. I cannot make it stop. I cannot make this saw stop whatsoever. Now for battery purposes, we're on three bars on the works. And the works has a total of five bars and we are on full power still with the steel. So the battery seems to be lasting much longer with the steel. Maybe that's why it's designed to last longer. And if you push on it too hard, then it just shuts it down so it doesn't damage the motor. That could be it. Let's go again. This is going to be a gentle cut. I'm not trying to gouge it in. That's the steel. Here's the works. Not gouging it, just, just using it normal. Okay, that's our big log. 
I'm going to give you some feedback in a second. Here's our smaller log round right here, okay? We're going to take our steel. We're going to go through it again. Oh, yeah, like butter. That, that felt very good. Just a little rougher. I mean, it's just a little rough around the edges, man. It's just got more bite. It really does have more bite. So what's the verdict here? What's the verdict? I think that the steel saw feels better in your hand. It feels more refined, yet you're paying nearly twice the price for the steel chainsaw. After all this cutting and it's been basically even, the steel saw is down one bar on its battery. I'm gonna run these things for a little while and kind of time and see who dies first. Now, the works is down two bars, but it has five bars where the other one has only four, I do believe. Yep, only four. The works feels good. It feels heavy. It feels like a real <laughs> chainsaw. The steel feels almost like a toy chainsaw. However, the cut is more refined. It, it feels much lighter. Once you start working with it, the works is a little bit harder to work with. I think you'd get more fatigue with the works, but you would get more work done <laughs> with the works. Uh, at this price point, man, what do you say? What do you say? Uh, it's kind of a, if you're a steel guy, then you go with your steel, your tried and true steel. You know it's a good saw, you know it's gonna last. If you're a guy that's out there cutting, maybe some small limbs in your backyard or something like that, and you don't wanna maintain a gas chainsaw, then I think the work saw is gonna be just fine for you. All you gotta do is buy a little bit of bar oil and go to town with it. I think it's going to be a good saw. I think it's going to be great here on the farm. Something to throw on the Kubota and keep on the Kubota. And uh, that way we don't have to burn fuel. I think it's pretty awesome. Both saws are great. If I had to choose one over the other one, <laughs> you guys tell me. <laughs> you guys tell me what you think. Would you go with the works or would you go with the steel? You saw how they cut. The works is a little more aggressive cut. The works pulls the uh, the log to you it doesn't spin the chain quite as fast but it has much much more torque and i couldn't i could bear down it and i couldn't get it to stop whatsoever so that's it the jury's out and you're the jury guys thanks a lot for joining me here again on the stony ridge farm on the tool tuesday it's a beautiful day here in north carolina man just look at that look back here sun is setting on beautiful appalachia We'll see you guys next time on the Stony Ridge Farm Channel. Be sure you pound that like button. Come on back and see us. All right? Woo! Well, come on down to the Stony Ridge. Bring your wife and bring your kids to live in life. Here and sweet. That's the way it's supposed to be, Stony Ridge. Woo! All right, why do we have a cant hook when we're working with little bitty stuff like this? Because it's not just a cant hook. It's a cant hook and a timber jack. So, you gotta protect your investment. Roll your log up out of the dirt and start cutting. That critter's called the log ox. I'll post the link down in the video description. Log ox!